Hi everyone. Um, the other day I posted a video how to master your neck using uh, just a C major scale. I had three different ideas for you. The first one was to use limits. Um, and the limits were this. The first one was put eight notes on every string, which really you're not limiting. You're just playing the entire scale straight up any string. Um, the second one was play two notes per string and then play three notes per string and then play four notes per string. Well, after I thought about it, I should have showed you how to do two and three notes a string and what happens when you get done either the octave or you sort of run out of strings. So I'm going to go through two notes a string of the C major scale for you on every string right now. So we're going to start like this on C on, on um, the low E string at fret 8. The notes you're playing are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I'll stop on that last C and then continue if there's more strings left and play the remaining notes. Two notes per string from here. C, string 6, fret 8. That's C. When I do it from string um, 5, from the A string at fret 3, I go like this. C, D, E, F, G, A, then B, C, and then I have to do D, E on the first string. If you're going to play the first string. So do that one again for you. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then I could go D, E if I had it, but I don't have it. But if you start up here, you could do the whole thing. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, next string right here, C, fret 10, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. One octave pure. So here's where it gets a little more interesting when you're on the third string. C, D, E, F, G, A. To finish the octave, I have to do B, C. So I did G, A here. So what, what you do is you shift over to the fat string, pretend you play G, E, F, G, A here, the same thing, two octaves lower, and then finish whatever you have left. So this would go like this. And then on the second string, it's a similar idea. Let's say we do it up here. C, D, E, F. So I pretend I did the E, F here because now I need G, A, B, C. So it would go, I'm sorry, C, D, E, F. There's a word for that. It's called octave dispersion. You're going up or you're playing a certain octave and then you jump to another one. It could be done like this. Instead of going C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, you could, you could go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Jumping all over with the octaves. That's octave dispersion. Another lesson for a different day. Um, so that was two notes of string. Three notes of string is different because two notes of string, most of your lines went that way. They all went that way. Um, three notes per string, they tend to go this way. So let's do it. So you're starting on C. Again, the notes you're playing are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Three notes of string. There's my C. I have another note left for the string. And I end up on an F. So it goes... Make sure you could see this. Okay, now we're going to start on C here, on fret 3. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Starting on C on the 4th string, fret 10. That's my C. C, 
D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. From the third string, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, end on a D. From my second string, I'm gonna to have to switch octaves again at the end. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope I did it slow enough so that you could see it. Two notes per string, three notes per string. Great tools to help you learn your scales all over the neck and a um, great way to help you learn the neck.